Hi everyone, I'm John and welcome back. Since I received the Dorsey Smart Telescope, on my wish list was to capture the Great Orion Nebula using the Dorsey 3. And I believe I'm the first to capture Messier 42 using the Dorsey Smart Telescope. And I do want to show you the first image with the Orion Nebula ever captured with the Dorsey 3. After I took the Dorsey 3 outside, and calibrate it, I opened the Sky Atlas app and uh, selected Messier 42. Then press go to, OK, and Dwarf 3 went to the Great Orion Nebula, and we can see it here in the live view. Then I've tested the autofocus and it worked fine. I didn't have any problems with the autofocus. And after that, I selected uh, plan with 15 seconds exposures and gain 60, testing the dual band filter. After the first exposures, I've noticed uh, we couldn't see good the running man nebula, that is a reflection nebula close to the Orion, close to Messier 42. So I decided to go with the astro filter so I can get also good result on the running man nebula nearby. And here is a time lapse video with live staking on the Orion nebula early morning, close to 5 am. And also in beta testing when I did not have available dark calibration for the live stacks. Dark calibration will be available in the future update, so we'll be able to get better quality in our live stacks. Now let's go to the computer and begin post processing. And here we have a live stack of half an hour. Let's go and check the live stack. So we have here about 61 images captured with the DOS 3. They are single exposures of 30 seconds. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can see them. And these were captured in normal altazimuth mode, not equatorial. And here we have the stacked image. Look, this is the stacked image in uh, TIFF, and here we have it in FITS, a little bit darker. And I will stack also in serial to see if we can get better result and this will help us also to get better processing. Here in serial we have all the lights placed here, half of hour of integration. Also I have some bias frames with the wrong gain, <laughs> had gain 40 on this bias and also I have here a set of darks, 30 seconds gain 60. And let's begin, we'll uh, go serial and here Let's stack the images with the Orion Nebula capture with the Dwarf 3. We'll use a script and we'll use, because we don't have flats, I'll use OSC preprocessing without flat and run script. Now in about one or two minutes, we should have the stack ready. Okay, 26 seconds. It was very fast and we have 61 images. Let's go auto stretch. We'll go here uh, image processing, color calibration, automatic, M42, find. Here focal length 150 and pixel size of 2. Press OK and close. Here we have the stack. Let's zoom in. Color calibrated. So this is the image stacked in serial without any processing, only a color calibration. Okay, so we'll duplicate this image, duplicate, and first we'll use gradient correction, automatic convergence, and see if it can remove the vignetting. Normally it's not made for vignetting, but I noticed it can remove vignetting in most of the situations. Normally I should have also cropped this area, but let's see if it will work without the cropping. Okay, and it did, it did work. So first step was a success, duplicate. And now let's begin with blur exterminator. Okay, and apply. And now we see the differences in the stars and in the shape of the nebula. Then we'll use noise exterminator and then noise exterminator and... Okay, look at the difference before Look how blurry it was. And after was is corrected and sharpened. Also the nebula features. Just amazing. <laughs> so
So here we have it, the Orion Nebula with Dwarf 3, the first Orion Nebula capture. Save as. Now let's use Noise Exterminator and we'll go, let's see, a value of 75, detail 40 or 80. Let's see 80 and if it's too strong, we'll go lower. Let's see how it will look. Let's see before. And now, wow, a huge difference. We usually go from uh, 60 to 80 and let's test now the signal to noise ratio of the image. Let's see script, image analysis, SNR, and look, 56, 58, 53. <laughs> the signal to noise ratio is so good. I won't go over 80 because the image becomes softer. It's so clean, the image, and only half of hour of integration on Orion Nebula. And here we'll uh, use now the Starless Terminator to remove the stars, have a starless image, and be able to process without oversaturating the stars. So we'll have nice looking stars when we'll uh, place them back in Photoshop and also we'll be able to process more the Nebula features. So we we'll select everything here and drag process onto the image and let's wait. I have to say a much better result than with the Dwarf 2. In only half an hour I was able to get better result than in uh, one hour with the Dwarf 2, much better. Here we'll save the stars. And this is the starless image. And I think here we can increase a little bit the dynamic range of the image. And we'll use local dynamic range. Play a little bit with these settings. Let's go with the higher value. Apply it 50% before and now. Good, let's try again. And we do have some extra contrast here. We'll uh, save it. So we enhance the contrast with the histogram equalization, processing peaks inside. And we have here the two images. And now we'll bring the stars back here. And use it with a screen blending mode. And we have them back here. Make group stars. Now we duplicate this layer, make a mask, and we'll only use it on some parts of the image with opacity 100%. We'll go and paint the Orion Nebula and the areas that we need more contrast, like here. Okay, and let's leave, leave how it was at the beginning. Okay, looks very nice. And now, Image duplicate, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, go here, then duplicate again, remove some of the artifacts on the edges, like here. There we go, go like this. We'll play more a little bit with Content Aware tool. After we applied another gradient correction tool on the image and also clean it up a little more on the edges using here the market tool, rectangular market tool and shift F5 to with content aware to clean some of the artifacts on the edges. We have a clean background here with the Orion Nebula. We remove this curve. This was more for uh, seeing the artifacts. Okay, so we duplicate again this layer. And this will convert to smart object. We can also place the stars back. It will not affect the image. Go filter, camera or filter. First we'll go with the curves and lower the darks here, you see. Oh, big difference. Increase the mid-tones. Yeah, only the mid-tones here. And now we'll go light, lower the blacks. A little bit more, increase the shadow, the highlights. Actually, the highlights will leave it default. In case we will lower or increase the contrast more. Now we'll leave the contrast on default. Increase a little bit the whites and the shadows. And use here a mask, a brush for the core. 
not to have the highlights too strong and we go reduce the highlights here in the core now the exposure will leave on default the highlights a little bit before now now let's see color vibrance increase the vibrance a little bit and saturation we can do a little bit with curves more blues here in the running nebula but not in the background so i think we can do that but we need also more red visible okay so we won't brighten too much at the moment something like this and press ok and we'll see how it will look we can start seeing a little bit of uh, more noise now once we processed the image but also it does look much better we can see the nebula region very clear here and increase more the saturation now and the vibrance again and details noise reduction a little bit 5 and color 25 a little bit more red i'll say so let's see the difference we'll duplicate and use this only for the each alpha part of the nebula more red and place the stars back and this is the image let's zoom in more look amazing right <laughs> I remember when first time I captured the Orion uh, with a Dove 2 in 20-30 minutes was a very big difference. We had the stars didn't look so good, one thing, and the signal to noise ratio was much worse with the Dove 2 smart telescope. And yeah, we can process more color balance it more, you do some more curves here. Let's see one and uh, we did it also a little bit the blues, like this in the mid tones. Then duplicate this uh, layer, Ctrl I, and use our brush and give those, uh, get those rays back here in the Orion Nebula, but also keep the blues needed. Yeah, something like this. And yeah, this is only half of our integration time, but it's very bright. And since in half an hour, we were able to get a very good result. In some regions, we went a little bit too much with the contrast enhancement. So we'll use a brush to get those tempered, the area not too strong like here. We'll do also filter, other high press. Let's see how much we'll sharpen. Maybe that's 98, okay. And we'll go linear light and use here maybe 5%. Let's see before, now. Before and now. Okay, and just for 30 minutes, the result, I believe this is a very, very good result. Very, very good. And here we do brush with 50%, yeah, also on the background. So nice, so nice, my friends. I really love the result. Please let me know what you think. This was the first image of the Orion Nebula captured with a Dorf 3 Smart Telescope, processed in Serial Pix Insight and Photoshop. Really nice result in the end, only for 30 minutes integration. I really, I really love the result with M42 captured with the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. And this was shot early morning from 4 to 4.38. Having the target low in the sky and getting this result in half an hour, I would say it's an impressive result of the Orion Nebula captured with the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. I'm very lucky that I was able to capture it first. Please let me know what you think in the, about the comments, what you think about the image quality of the DOF 3, about the results, and how do you compare this with the DOF 2 if you already have the DOF 2 Smart Telescope. If you are interested in buying the DOF 3, please check the affiliate links in the description. And before I end, I want to give a big thanks to all the channel members that are supporting the channel. And if you want also to support the channel, you can join the membership where you'll have access also to master photography data, including DOF data like the Orion Nebula. 
hope you enjoyed watching like subscribe and i'll see you soon in the next video